Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how exactly uh, SQLite joins work. That is how our two tables join together and their information retrieved. So we start again with this uh, customer's database in SQLite 3 My Data folder. As usual, I type CMD. And that brings up my folder in the command prompt. And I type in, I, um, I use SQLite 3 to open my database. And uh, we're going to take a look at the tables or schema. So we have the customers table, products table, and the customer products table, or the shipments table, if you want to call it that. So we're going to see how uh, we can join, um, let's say, the customers table with the customer products table. So just to recap, the customer products table um, is a list of all the shipments that customers are receiving. So customer C number, um, this is information about this customer. Customer C number receives part P number in this quantity. So that's what uh, the CP table is about. And the customer's table contains information about the customer, like their customer number and their name. So if you want to uh, view the customer name along with the part number and the quantity, then you have to join the customer's table with the customer parts table. So um, we're going to try and understand how these joins work. So what we'll first do is, I'll just do a simple join that actually is not completely correct, but it shows us something. So to get started, let's take a look at the customer's table. Select star from customers. And you have a few customers here and select star from CP will give us a few orders uh, and you can see customer C1 is Mr. Smith and he's got orders P1 and P2 and P3 and all these orders uh, coming due for him um, in delivered in Boston where he lives. So let's say we want to join these two tables. I'll first do it the wrong way and then I'll do it the right way. Select C no, C name, P no and QTY from uh, customer CP. And I'll just leave it at that. So it's going to complain because uh, if you look at the schema, um, you know, the C no is there in both um, customers table, it's right here. And it's also there in the CP table that's right here. So we have to give it a name. So what I'll do is I'll edit it like this now, a uh, little bit. So I'm going to say like this. Um, C P dot C no uh, Q T Y. So now I've said okay, get me the C no C N O from the C P table. So there's no ambiguity here from C P comma customers, and I'm just going to put it like this. And now you can see it's going to give me a lot of results here. What it has done is it has matched every single customer from the customers table with every single order from the CP table. Now that is wrong because naturally not all customers have ordered all parts. So uh, there are a lot of uh, you know mistaken orders here. For example, customer C1 clearly is not linked, for example, with uh, Smith and Johnson and Williams. So there, th that right there is a mistake. So we need to do further filtering. So what is that filtering we need to do? So let me do that now. So what I will do now is select star um, from customer CP, where you have to say customers dot CNO equals CP dot CNO. So now you're saying don't just match up any customer in the customers table with any order in the CP table only match those records where the customer number is the same. So the customer number for the customers in the customer's table should be identical to the customer number for the order in the customer uh, CP table, and only those records need to be matched. And now you will get proper values. So now you will see only those records where the customer has actually ordered the part. 
So now, what was this previous table that we created? Now this one here is called a Cartesian product. That's a fancy name. What it means is um, that we are asking uh, SQLite to take every record in one of the tables and match it up with every record in the other table. So if there are, let us say, 10 records in this table and there are five records in this table, if you're matching every record with every other record in both the tables, you're going to get 10 times five, that's 50 records, okay? So I don't know if there are 50 records in this, but there are a lot of them. So now that's clearly wrong, but you need to get all the records, all possible matches between the two tables first. So that's the first step. So that's what we did here in the proper query, we said, okay, so get me all these columns, but also get me all the rows from CP and C, from customers and CP tables. But then do the next filtering where get me only those records where the customer number matches. So you can think of your join as a two-step process, okay, a three-step process. First, you get the, you specify the, uh, the fields you need. Next, you specify the two or more tables that you need the data from, the fields from. And finally, you specify, okay, what are the matching columns in the two or more tables that you need to match in order to retrieve the records? So that will give you the correct answer for your join. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you for watching.